So, Mr. President, your engagement for peace and your leadership for your people is highly respected in the international community. So thank you again for joining the World Economic Forum here in Jordan. And we know that the security landscape is at a crossroads. You are working hard on unity, on national unity and reconciliation, and at the same time you are facing a new incoming government in Israel. So now we would like to know, under this context, what is your vision for the region, and we hope that the support from all sides for a two-state solution will still be intact, because, as you know, the World Economic Forum is working together with Palestinians and Israeli on breaking the impasse. Mr. President, the floor is yours. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, Your Majesty King Abdullah bin Al Hussein II, Your Excellency President Abdul Fattah al Sisi, Your Majesty Queen Rania, Your Highness uh, Crown Prince, Excellencies, Your Excellency Mr. Klaus Schwab, peace be upon you. First, I wish to thank you, Your Majesty, for inviting us and for your generous auspices of this important event and wish to felicitate you together with our brothers, the Jordanian people and your honored government on the occasion of the independence of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and which happens on the 25th of May. And we ask God that this occasion comes while you and the generous and honorable uh, Hashemite family enjoys health and happiness and the kingdom and its dear people, we wish them continuous prosperity and stability. I also wish to value and express my appreciation to the role of the World Economic Forum for gathering collect all these uh, representatives of uh, governments in addition to economists and academicians and the value this produces in enriching and deepening the debate and opening the opportunity for exchange of expertise and opinion and exchange opinions on successes. Our brothers in Jordan have unique characteristics, most notably stability and security, as well as uh, the enabling investment uh, opportunities uh, as it enjoys current and future potential, as well as human resources that enjoy experience, in addition to its location that in which the uh, business people as well as the politicians uh, meet for the region and for the whole world. This makes Jordan a distinguished place for attracting foreign and Arab investment in the areas of tourism, industry, agriculture, mining, and trade. The fraternal relation and the economic relation that links the Jordan and Palestine constitutes a strong foundation for developing and promoting cooperation in the areas of religious uh, tourism and uh, commercial uh, exchange, as well as energy and health, in addition to close cooperation uh, in the banking sector, whereby several Jordanian banks operate in Palestine, and this constitutes a successful experience for cooperation between the two countries. We are confident that the economic relations between the two countries shall witness further improvement in the future. Upon the end of occupation and the independence of the state of Palestine, this conference is held at 
uh, critical and difficult moments uh, for the region and its people who are facing a state of conflicts under various slogans and that have inflamed the sectarian conflict and uh, fanaticism in some area in countries and has created a state of chaos and failure in other countries. This may subject all these countries for the danger of uh, being divided. This has led several terrorist groups, those transborder groups uh, that have used religion as an excuse for perpetrating their criminal acts. This conflict has led Jordan to undertake a big economic and financial burdens because it received more than one and a half million refugees, particularly from our sister Syria. This requires the international community to assume its responsibility and to increase its support for Jordan to alleviate the burden in receiving uh, these refugees and providing them with shelter until their return to their countries. Your Majesty, ladies and gentlemen, at the Palestinian level, we are moving forward in building the uh, institutions of our state in accordance with the standards of the rule of law and the preservation of security and respect for human rights and women rights and within the framework of political plurality and on the basis of democracy, accountability, and transparency. The fact that the State of Palestine has acceded to several international conventions and agreements is not targeting anyone, but it is an assertion of our desire to cope between the work of our national legislations and institutions uh, with the international standards. At another level, we seek to overcome obstacles that preclude uh, holding Palestinian elections. And to that end, uh, we continue in our pursuit of uniting our people and our land and to achieve national reconciliation. Uh, we have the, uh, assigned the, the Palestinian cabinet the, the, the job of uh, continuous work uh, to, pro to get the necessary funding from the donors for the reconstruction of Gaza despite all the obstacles. At the same time, we are uh, following up the conditions of our people at the Armouk refugee camp, and we have sent several delegations carrying with them humanitarian aid and in cooperation with the United Nations and several governments and international agencies uh, whom we thank and whom we call upon continuing their support. We, n we never interfered and we will never interfere in the internal affairs of Arab and non-Arab states. And we hope to God that we will be capable of overcoming difficulties and hardships to, uh, to, ensure, uh, to ensure their uh, territorial integrity and independence and stability. Your Majesty, on this occasion, we reiterate our uh, assertion uh, on the uh, uh, just and lasting peace and on the two-state solution in which both states will live side by side uh, in peace and in neighborly relations and on the basis of the resolutions of international legitimacy and the Arab Peace Initiative, as well as the agreements signed between the two sides. And the establishment of the independent state of Palestine that is sovereign on the borders of the 1967 with East Jerusalem as its capital. and to resolve all the final status uh, issues, including the uh, refugees issue, as well as uh, releasing uh, the uh, prisoners 
all this in accordance with the uh, pertinent uh, resolutions of international legitimacy. What prevents uh, the achievement of this desired peace is the co Israel's continuation of its occupation and settlement activities and imposing realities on the ground, relying on force. On this occasion, we wish to assert our rejection of any provisional solutions or the so-called the state with provisional borders which divides the people, the land, and the homeland. This project is rejected totally. And we hope that anyone who seeks to revive this project to stop doing so with the formation of a new Israeli cabinet, the international community and its active parties are required to work in accordance with the uh, accepted international standards and within the framework of specific time frame to end occupation in coordination with the, the Arab follow-up and monitoring committee in order to enable our people from uh, uh, obtaining their freedom and independence after 67 years of uh, dispossession and suffering and after 48 years for the occupation of the West Bank, including East Jerusalem and Gaza Strip. Your Majesty, once again, I wish to express my appreciation for your generous invitation. And I wish this conference success and to come out of uh, with desired results. And we thank our uh, brother Jordan as a, a king and a government and people, their hospitality. And we highly appreciate the efforts of the technical teams from Jordan and from the World Economic Forum once again. I greet you and peace be upon you.